Parents have been advised to not allow fear of stigmatization to prevent them from raising their voice against gender-based violence. This came from the vice principal of a government girls' secondary school, Lokua Mobi Polina Kwaha. Gender-based violence is becoming more worrisome than ever, and more people are becoming more concerned than before. Another plea has gone out, this time from the principal of government girls' secondary school, Lukua, to the parents. Kwaha made the plea at a one-day sensitization workshop organized by Sultan Foundation for Peace and Development, sponsored by Spotlight Initiative in GDSS Mumbai and GDSS Mumbai. Most of the mothers and their fathers, they are away, leaving their children on their own. You don't know what is happening to your children now. And nowadays in school, you may think that the student is in the school, but to be candid, he is not there. Maybe he has gone somewhere else to do the things that you are not aware of it. At the end of the day, you ask the child, have you been to school? Yes. What, have you, what were you taught in school? Ah, our teacher, he didn't come to class today. So these are some of the problems. So this has given chance or open rooms for our children to do whatever they like because the parents are not there with them. She urged parents to also stand their grounds in the face of gender-based violence, regardless of the consequences because it represents one of the odious breaches of the fundamental right of the human person. She urged parents and guardians to maintain a steady vigilance around their children as most of the cases of GBV are perpetrated over death of supervision of wards. Also speaking, Amina Muhammad Ali, the program assistant of the foundation in Adamawa State, noted that the aim of the project is to work with relevant stakeholders, including traditional, religious, and youth leaders to end the menace which has become rampant over the years. She called on the general public, especially parents, not to hesitate in reporting any forms of gender-based violence, noting that the lethargic disposition of communities towards such cases makes perpetrators emboldened to commit more of such atrocities in the future. Speaking, Stella Ezia, head girl of the school, advised the students to always speak out whenever someone molests them, regardless of his social position. They should be giving a female their respect, that they should not be treating them carelessly. They should also be giving them their full rights and their full choices. The only thing that I have to say is the word of thanks, because since we have never attended this program, but today we are grateful for their help to us. Because we achieve many things, they let us know things that we have not been heard before. We are saying thank you because of their help to us. May the Lord help them in their activities. He thanked the Sultan Foundation for Peace and Development for organizing such an event, noting that it has expanded their horizon on the topic. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.